What's up all my trader homies? It's your boy Kevin from Touchdown Trades and today we're going to be talking about Boeing stock. It has pulled back off its recent highs and is setting up for an awesome long trade and today I'm going to show you how I plan to make bank off of an options trade on Boeing. So let's jump into the charts and get this party started. All right guys, so here we have a daily chart of Boeing. So we can see that, if we do some analysis, we can see that the runny runny lows, it came down, smashing down, and hit lows at $89. You get the initial dead cat bounce, where it came up, and almost doubled, or more than doubled actually. Okay, so then after you get the 100% dead cat bounce, which is crazy to think about. You kind of get the slow sell off. And when it broke out of that sell off, it actually it absolutely exploded, doubling again. So we had two opportunities to make 100% returns on the stock alone. So imagine if you were trading options on these, it would be absolutely insane the move these made. So I'm going I think it's setting up again for another move up towards the 200 day EMA. So I'm planning an options trade where I'm gonna go in pretty heavy and try to make a, like a once in a lifetime trade. Okay, so the, the market is heavily shorted right now as everybody's looking for the next rollover. Boeing's getting bad news PRs put out on it every single day. They had another one today about the uh, 747 MAX um, telling their suppliers not to produce as many bodies for that particular model of plane that they produce. Well, I think this is a, a time where everybody's down on the stock and it's the masses are selling it, but the investors, the, the hedge funds, and the big institutional investors are going to be buying this as long as it's below this 200-day EMA. And I'm looking to join them and stay away from the retail masses, and I'm going to attack this Boeing through trading options. All right, so let's take a look at Boeing's options chain and see which, actually first let's do some analysis on Boeing. We'll use this chart here. Maximize sell, go to a daily chart. All right, so let's get rid of Put the daily studies on. All right, so let's do a quick little analysis, break down the chart, plan out our trade. So what I'm gonna be looking for is a test of that 200 EMA, and I'll be taking profits on the way up. So basically what we have is we have support here around 186, 185. We also have the 20 EMA, coming up and acting as like a uh, propulsion, you know, it just, it's been riding the 20 EMA up and then smacked back down when the market had that sell, quick little sell off. And now it's consolidating. And what we need is Boeing to break out of the consolidation. I swear, think or swim can be so glitchy sometimes. So we need Boeing to break out of this consolidation here and head up. So my thesis on the trade is that these are going to be the lows. Think or swim is a mess sometimes. So this 165 level is going to be the lows. My stop is going to be a daily close below the 20 EMA and I'm going to be looking for the break above 200 within the next two weeks. So what kind of options are we going to trade? We have a couple choices. You could go with the July contracts. If you're looking to hold this for maybe two weeks or so, like I am, I'm going to probably use the July contracts. Or you could go a little, little further out if you're looking for it to really test that 200-day EMA. I actually traded Boeing today and... Um, 
tried to take a day trade on it and lost a thousand dollars but it's all good because I had a trade on F FFHL that penny stock and made a nice little chunk of change but I think Boeing is ready to roll and the options contract that I'm going to attack is probably this 190 July and let's go check it out in the charts change this to red how do we do this all right so we can see this contract exploded a thousand percent when Boeing took off on that second run up after the crash and it has pulled back dramatically and I'm not looking for a thousand percent move on this contract what I'm looking for is a move back up towards probably 25 or so and that's over a hundred percent profit potential on this trade and for in order for that contract to do so what would we need out of Boeing so the Delta right now is at 50 cents so let's jump into the chart again so to get a $10 move out of the contract we would need a $10 move out uh, $20 move out of Boeing a little bit less because the Delta would increase via gamma as the price of the Boeing stock went up so we would need Boeing probably to hit $200 to hit our profit target in the next two weeks and I think that is very realistic so I'll probably be risking 50% on the contracts down to about $5 or so and looking for at least $20. So a two to one risk to reward ratio on this trade and it ha absolutely has the capability of being a green trade. One thing we do need to be wary of is the theta which is at 27 cents. So the time decay will be 27 cents per contract per day. So if you're planning on taking 20, 30 contracts like I am, we need to be wary of that. And we need this move to happen kind of fast because we're going to be losing $280, $270 per day per 10 contracts, right? So if we have 20 contracts, that is what? No, I'm, I'm wrong. It'd be $28 per day per 10 contracts. So you got 20 contracts, you're losing $50 every day that you hold it. And that theta is going to increase as we get closer to expiration, right? So we need this move to happen in a rather timely manner. We need Boeing. Let's break it down on the one hour chart to get a little better perspective in a faster time frame. All right, so here is the consolidation that I was talking about. It's been consolidating right there right and we need it to break out of this downtrend and take off so we need it to happen really next week if we're gonna trade the July contracts we can't be holding the contracts uh, much further than next Friday so I'm gonna be probably looking to enter this trade either today or tomorrow and I'll be looking for 200 as my first profit and down here below this last pivot as my stop loss. All right, guys. So I appreciate the view. If you guys got anything out of this video, make sure you hit that like button and do me a favor and subscribe. We're taking killer trades like this all the time, posting live day trading videos and swing trading videos. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Drop.